here's the Amperage at the first speed on my 30 pound thrust. This is the Minn Kota Endura C2. And here's speed 2. And what amperage is that we need right now? I'm looking the other way. <laughs> Six point. Okay, let's see if we can go one more to speed three. Is speed three? Eight point three nine. And four. Let's see if we'll blow my ten amp fuse. Nine point three six. All right. I I don't think I'm going to show you speed five. So even though someone had commented it takes thirty amps. And I called Minn Kota, they said that's worst case scenario if you get weeds and everything stuck in there. It's a pretty calm lake. Um, anyways, there's a load on it. You can see everything we got in the boat here. It runs pretty good. So, on the first speed, which is what we usually use, only takes about 5 amps, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm asking Janice again if it's again. It's the other way, I can't quite see it. There you go. 5.26 amps. Alright, hi everyone. So, I just wanted to show you guys how I normally check the voltage on my battery to know when I'm running low. This is just a little voltmeter from Dual Extreme. You can probably get it at hobby shops too. It's for the hobbyists. Poke it in and there you go. 12.5. It's upside down. Uh, kind of hard to maneuver on this tight little boat. Anyways, you get the point. 12.5. It's a great way to check your battery. These are two of the three batteries I use for my trolling motors. The third one is the Group 4D Lead Acid. Really, really big battery, which obviously I don't use in my inflatable boat. Uh, this one's my JNC 660 18 amp hour battery, and it is lead sealed. And as you can see, you can put it in whatever way you want. It's not going to happen. Uh, nothing bad's going to happen to it. It is a deep cycle battery because someone commented on the other video, which I, I blundered without putting a load on a motor. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways. Um, the, it's it's not a problem. You can this is meant to be drained and recharged. Way better than a lead acid battery. The thing about a lead acid battery is you can actually revive that really easily because you can open all the cells and you can with very minimal work bring voltage right back up to you know 12, 13 volts and that way you can use it again. And if you don't know how to do it, you can always pay someone to do it to get it reconditioned or. Um, you know, just do a quick YouTube or Google and you'll know how to use it. Anyways, so this is my Powertech battery from Federal Batteries in the Lower Mainland. And it's a 32 amp hour battery. I'm going to show you the voltage of the battery after my type of usage on Paul's Lake, or Paul Lake, sorry, in Kamloops. And I'm going to make, oops, make sure that this shows across. Little tiny little tiny wires. 12.4. Don't know if that's coming through on the camcorder or not. Uh, anyways, 12.4 volts. And um, that's four hours of my type of fly fishing at Paul Lake where I'm using it just to get to spots and very minimal trolling. But um, it is a pretty big lake and I, I'll probably put up a video later of how I cover it from end to end. And um, let's uh, that's also roughly the voltage I had when I was at Tawanka Lake. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And that was with a little bit of trolling, but that lake is a lot smaller. So you can see how with a 32 amp hour battery and the Minn Kota motor that I'm using that doesn't even have the digital maximizer, it's uh, pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't have to get a really big battery that's really heavy. This fits nicely. It tucks right in to my inflatable boat. And so that's again why sometimes I'll just grab this guy because that's all I need if I'm just getting out to spots, anchoring, and uh, dry f fly fishing or chrominid fishing. Like as long as I'm not trolling, I don't need a really big battery. And even if I am, I'm fine with this guy because it's more than enough. And as I mentioned before, you can just pick this up at any hobby store, Deal Extreme, whatever, little voltmeter, so you can monitor your battery level and always be safe and, and uh, know that you have enough juice to get you back to shore instead of paddling in. So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave the comments below. I do apologize again for the very first video that, uh, uh, again, I don't know what I was thinking, just no load. I, I think it was just a nice sunny day and I just wanted to do something cool, but uh, the coolness factor outweighed um, the smartness factor because I was totally in error to not put a load on it. I, I have these little electrical tape to help um, sometimes just cover up the uh, the contacts if, if I don't have the cover on my battery box snug on so the uh, water doesn't splash on. So anyways, yeah. Ask me any questions, I'll 
I'll try to answer it. If I don't know it, I'll go and figure it out for you if I have time. So again, uh, these are the batteries I use. There's nothing wrong with using lead acid, um, sorry, yeah, lead acid battery, so just like a car starting battery. They're thin plates, so they're not meant to be deep cycled, like, you know, used all the way uh, to, you know, it's, it's death and then recharged again. But you know what? They're cheap, and you can recondition them really easily. Uh, this guy here, I forgot how much it was, but I can guarantee you, you can buy at least two uh, standard, you know, MotorMaster 72 batteries for this, and it has way more capacity than this guy. But of course, it's not as um, heavy duty. It's not a deep cycle. It's not a, uh, you know, when someone says marine battery, it's just a deep cycle battery. So lead acid, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I started with. But I want to, I want to downsize and get something nice and lightweight. So I went the total extreme, and I went this because it does, uh, you know, double duty because I can, I can use it to jump start vehicles. Uh, so what I do is when I'm away at bigger lakes, where I might need more juice, I use this guy, and. Um, if anything happens to my car, because you can charge this with your car alternator, I might do another video on that another time, and uh, use this to boost back up my vehicle if, per se, I left the radio on or I used the electric pump to, you know, pump up all the infill devices and drained my lead acid starting battery in the vehicle, then I can boost myself back up and be safe. So again, any questions, just ask. Ciao.